you know, early in the year, when the SBA started issuing out all the idle and disaster loans out of every, uh, all the different businesses and everything, it didn't take normal underwriting procedures. Pretty much, you had to fill out the information, um, say you had a business and everything, put out how much money you did, and next thing you know, you got funded. The reason uh, a lot of well, being behind a lot of that was there was not enough time to sit here and go through those underwriting procedures because so many people were affected by the pandemic and they had to give the money out to the different businesses out there to keep the uh, economy going. Here's the deal with that. Everything's starting to level back off now and people need to start preparing to get uh, to get ready for different audits that uh, the government may be sending out a little bit down the road. How's it going everybody? I'm Deontay Burton aka Mr. Short Dollar himself. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel Mr. Short Dollar where we talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and real estate investing. Easy thing to uh, stay updated with videos like this and ones in the future. Hit that dollar sign in the bottom right hand corner. Now back to our video, we're talking about you know, how to prepare for uh, an SBA or item loan or audit. No one wants to get audited, but I think this is something that a lot of people need to be preparing for because again, like I said earlier, they didn't go through normal under underwriting procedures. And a lot of people filled out, you know, for the loans, they got funded for it, and there was a lot of fraud with that. You know. If you did or didn't do it, hey, listen, I think this video, regardless of how you got it, will prepare you to help you, you know, handle it if you are in a situation where you get audited, okay? I can't see and say the bulk of the loans are going to get audited, but I know some will, okay? And with the information, the quick information I give you in this video, I think it'll put you on the right path to be able to handle everything from an initial standpoint. The first thing I want you to do if, you, if you're in a situation where you do get a letter, you are audited for the loan that you receive is number one mentally prepare for everything what i mean by mentally prepare for it if you get the letter or if you are uh, reached out to do not avoid responding back again do not avoid responding back and that's why i say the most important thing with that is mentally prepare for of uh, 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 to get on it once you receive the letter and why you know don't be intimidated or afraid or anything like that yes you are dealing with the federal government but at the end of the day what you don't have you know you can try to find and if you do have to incur any kind of losses or fees or fines and stuff like that take care of that as it comes but if you just totally avoid it you put yourself in a situation where you can get prosecuted put yourself in a position where you can get garnished and everything's locked down then regardless you can deal with it when they want you to deal with it or you're going to deal with it when you have to deal with it you never deal with it when you want to deal with it okay so when they want to do it or when you have to do it, you choose, okay? I think if you start off when they see the correspondence, again, if you got the information, you got it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Just roll with it from there, okay? But start mentally preparing yourself if you get that initial letter and do not avoid anything. The next thing is uh, try best start getting finances together, okay? Just try to get those finances together, how much money you made, how much money you spent. Try to get it as much as possible. If it doesn't necessarily match up what you reported, you know, again, you can always do tax amendments, things like that. But just start trying to gather everything up, you know. If you really aren't familiar on how to do it, because, you know, you have a lot of people that are experts in that particular field. They know how to do electric work. They know how to do plumbing. They know how to do brick masonry or construction. But they're not accountants. They don't know, understand financial reports and stuff like that. So acquire somebody that can do it. Get you a consultant, get you an accountant, or somebody that can help. Draft those financial reports and everything. Make sure they're matching with the tax returns. Make sure they're matching with the uh, the different invoices or things that you have and everything. The bank accounts and all that stuff is kind of like on the same page. If there are differences, be prepared for the different uh, uh, differences that's going to be over there and everything. And uh, just kind of start getting it together. Just start getting it together and everything. Just start you know gathering that information. We don't want to avoid it. Start getting the information together. And the next thing I want you to do is uh, uh, get ready to, uh, to get those taxes done on it. If the tax information doesn't match what you were given or what you've been doing, just kind of just get what you got. But like I said again, be prepared to answer the question. Okay? We can't avoid it. What has happened has happened. If you did the right thing, great. If you didn't, we just got to move forward with it, okay? But we never, ever, ever, ever want to avoid situations, okay? The next thing is also when we uh, file those taxes and get all that stuff uh, done, be kind of prepared for, you know, maybe a three to five year range where you may get a pop up letter for an audit. That's anybody. If you, you know, from the moment you receive it, just kind of be prepared 
but at three to five year range that you may be, you know, getting audited. So don't put yourself in a situation, at least for that first five years, you know, definitely kind of be on, you know, on, you know, on a alert that it may come down and everything. Anything past that, I don't think they'll risk the manpower of doing it. But I do think you need to be kind of on alert that, hey, I might get a letter. And the further you go from zero to five, you know, there's more information you got to report to them. So kind of keep that in mind and everything. But I, I, as always, I want to encourage everybody to be, to be proactive. So start getting everything together. Go to them shoe boxes and all that kind of stuff. See what you can match up. See what you can verify. Uh, if you got to go talk to your account, you got to get certain forms filed and everything to make adjustments. Go on and do that. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not wait and everything. Now, you may not get uh, a letter or anything at all. So, I, you know, again, uh, if you don't and you know things may not match, good luck to you and that's great. But if you get that letter from them, and we're talking about how to prepare for an audit uh, regarding the SBR audit loan. Once you start doing it, I think you follow those steps I, got, I just gave you. They'll help you going through the process, okay? I don't want anybody getting any unnecessary stress. I don't want anybody going through any turmoil. Now, we know what the loans were for. And everything as far as helping those uh, business and uh, dire situations, uh, staying on their feet, you know, during those tough economic times. Um, if you took the money, it didn't apply to you. I mean, again, you just have to deal with stuff with the consequence with that. But with that said, still try to mitigate your losses the best way possible by following those directions. You know, again, mentally prepare for it. Start gathering your financials. Get the taxes done. And be on alert for three to five years, okay? I think if you follow that easy blueprint, that'll help you a whole lot in the initial stages of preparing for that audit for the SB, uh, from the SBA concerning that uh, idol or the disaster loan. Hope that information helped. Again, I'm Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Short Dollar himself. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar. We'll talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, real estate investing. Each thing to do again, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner. Take care.